There's going to be spoilers in this segment, but we'll start a little bit light and show you uh, uh, before we get into it. But rest assured, within like five minutes, we're going full hardcore spoiler because of the political ramifications and the cultural significance of how a movie, and I'm going to outright say it, an anti-Trump film, masquerading as not anti-Trump, how does a movie like this get made? What are the perspectives of people in industry? And why, why is this their worldview? I think that matters a whole lot. So we're going to spoil the film. And uh, if you want to see it, you know, that's that, that you've been warned. You may remember this. This is a map that was published on X. I don't know if it's the official map, but I believe it is. And this this came out around December and we talked about it. It's the A24 Civil War 2024 Divided America map. You can see here the Northwest and parts of the uh, Midwest are called the Western Forces. You have this strip to the center of the country called the Loyal Estates. You have the Deep South called the Florida Alliance. And then you have the Republic of California and the Second Republic of Texas. You can then see that Alaska and Hawaii are considered loyalist. However, A24 released an updated version of the map where you can see the Western Forces became California and Texas. The new People's Army is the Pacific Northwest and parts of the Midwest. The loyalist states remain the same. Florida Alliance remains the same. But then you can see Alaska is polar bear cold state. And uh, that is significant. That, that, that is only somewhat slightly relevant to the film, but they they did seem to change it. So the first thing I want to say is, uh, and I'm trying to go slow with the spoilers because I don't want to just outright spoil everything, but anti-Trump film, uh, Trump is the bad guy. It's very obvious that Trump is the bad guy. The movie's not about Donald Trump or a civil war. It's about four journalists on a road trip. So understand that it's about four journalists on a road trip. And uh, these two maps, the reason I showed that first is because it appears the film. Cha- I think I think they were seeing all of the commentary online and they decided to change the film midway through th- in editing to change the story out of fears what they were producing was overtly partisan because it's it's I would say it's 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 partisan when you watch it. If you know anything about politics, heavy, heavy political influences, very obvious political influences and certainly a political perspective there. They don't outright say it, but it is apparent. I think uh, in the trailers, you can hear them say the Western forces are approaching D.C. Well, back when this map came out, that meant Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Right. And uh, the Dakotas. And then, of course, Minnesota is a, little, is a mixed bag and the Pacific Northwest. It's still largely right leaning. Now, the film is the Western forces are California and Texas, which makes very little sense. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pause there and let, you know, Ian and Serge chime in on this one a little bit, too. But uh, as a journalist watching a movie about journalists in conflict, what I really appreciate is how they captured the malice and depravity of journalists. It was it was absolutely and I, 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 I'm not being I'm not being cute when the journalists are smiling and laughing at the bloodshed and the gunshots and the gore. And one of the main characters is like, I have such a hard on for this. I'm like, this is what they do. This is what I witness when I'm on the ground being like, this is a, this is horrifying. People are, are being shot. At. I can't believe these things are happening. Some people need to know about this. I'm watching these other journalists be like, what a great networking opportunity to meet other journalists. Man, were you there when this happened? Did this happen? And I'm like, these people are sick. So I actually really enjoyed it. But uh, I'm curious your, your guys' thoughts if you want to chime in before we go heavy on the spoilers. You want to lay into it, Serge? Um, I mean, <laughs> like, what, what was something you liked about the film? Wasn't you like I really the like film? the settings, the scenery. So I, when I look at a film, I look at there's the theme of the film, there's the plot, there's the there's the setting, and then there's like spectacle. This thing was spectacular in the sense that it, the beautiful settings, beautiful sceneries. Yeah. They're driving from New York to to Washington D.C. They go through America. You see all this beautiful, beautiful stuff, and that's about it. Um, I really liked some of the acting. A couple of the a- scenes I thought were really good. And there were a, a couple of really powerful. Well, there was one. In, the action scenes were intense. But I found it to be very, very thin on plot. I didn't. Mm. It was nothing. Yeah, we talked I found about that. Nothing to be happening in the movie. I was just I waiting think, uh, for something to happen. 